What is up, Planeswalkers? Theric 6 back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. Be sure to go to flipsidegaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. It's a good deal and helps support the channel. Now today, I did say yesterday that I was probably going to play like Death Touch Tribal or something because I was just sick of all this nonsense. I just wanted to play a really fun deck. Then I remembered. Lumbering Battlement is possible to infinite combo. So that's what we're doing today. The point of this deck is essentially to get out three total of <laughs> Lumbering Battlement, Hostage Taker, and Mirror Image. It's just three total. It can be... You need at least one Lumbering Battlement, but the other two can be Hostage Taker and Mirror Image. Uh, it can be double Hostage Taker. Either of those works, because essentially what you're doing is you are exiling one or two of them, you get one back, and then that one will exile the other ones, and then you get them back repeatedly. And the way this deck typically wins is by utilizing well, <laughs> Wall of Lost Thoughts to mill your opponent out. Or if you're against Mono Red, you can just Inspire and Cleric a bunch and gain infinite life, and at that point, your Mono Red opponent's probably going to concede. They might not, in which case, you have infinite life to work with. You should be fine. Um, but yeah, this deck is very resilient, I should say, in that it is able to tech relatively decently in the main deck against aggro. The problem, of course, is that aggro isn't really what's being played. Right now, what's being played is like super fast burn, and it does kind of struggle against that if your opponent, or if you aren't able to get like a cleric down. Um, that said, let's, let's hop into the specific reason we're playing cards. We're playing four Burglar Rats main deck because uh, one of the big problems combo decks tend to have is against uh, control, where control is able to just kind of shut you down and not allow you to do your combo. So Burglar Rat is a nice way to annoy the crap out of your opponent's hand. Uh, you can copy it with Mirror Image just to get, you know, a little bit of extra chip value and force them to just, like, deal with your Burglars uh, so that they use resources and maybe... Uh, eventually you can get the combo off. I was able to combo off against a Grixis control deck, uh, thanks mostly to Burglar Rat eating up their hand. Um, we're running four Anticipates. We're a combo deck. We need to find specifically what we're looking for. You could run Opt in place. However, Anticipate does dig deeper um, for one extra mana. So I find that Anticipate is generally better for what we're trying to do. Four, Wall of Lost Thoughts. It's a nice blocker, which is very helpful. Um, you do need to be careful because of the fact that so many decks are running around with potential things that they can use the graveyard for so i tend uh if i'm playing against red i'll play this pretty much immediately but if i'm not i will try and hold wall of lost thoughts uh, until i'm able to combo with it um or until i think i need to just because of the fact that so many decks do take advantage of their graveyard but it is a nice blocker inspiring cleric is a really strange looking choice but the fact that it gains you four life on entry is very helpful against this uh really mono red meta so that's nice. It is a decent-ish blocker, uh, and if nothing else, you are able to mirror image your own Inspiring Cleric to gain more life, and it's a nice way to make infinite life. Running three Moment of Cravings, as this is our removal package here. Running three Moment of Cravings, <laughs> red's everywhere. You, you gotta gain life, you gotta remove some stuff. Mortify is actually a really helpful choice. That's why I'm running uh, Esper and not just white-blue, that and Hosh Taker. Uh, I've seen some people try this with red instead of black, because it gives them access to things like uh, the Pyromancer man, the lizard, Viachino Pyromancer. Because that's uh, an infinite way. You can just can completely uh, kill your opponent with the two damage ping. But I really like the fact that Mortify can kill a creature, or against the wide array of these enchantments that are running around, you can destroy an enchantment, right? So you have, um, you have the Wilderness Reclamation, you have Eldest Reborn, you have the... Uh, opposing Ixlon's Bindings, you know, you have Experimental Frenzy out of the red deck, right? There are so many enchantments running around that are so good that Mortify is actually a great help. And of course, we're running two Ixlon's Binding because sometimes they're just things that we don't want to see. Cough, cough, Planeswalkers. And then, of course, this is our main combo package, Mirror Image. We'll try to copy these. Hostage Taker is really great because it allows us to either target our own Lumbering Battlement or something like that, or it just steals one of your opponent's creatures early on in the game before you actually set up your combo, and you're able to steal that thing from your opponent, cast it for yourself, and not lose anything on card advantage. So Hostage Taker is probably the strongest card in this deck uh, when you're setting up for your combo. And of course, Lumbering Battlement, it's nice and gets bigger. One really great thing about this deck is if you aren't able to fully combo, but let's say you do uh, Hostage Take um, something, and then you end up Lumbering Battlement, your Hostage Taker, in preparation to get the third one down, either the, the any of these, these three. If your opponent decides to board wipe you, you're left with something. And that's what's really nice about this. If 
typically what you end up doing is if you cast a lumbering battlement and you have just like a random burglar rat and a random inspiring cleric you can just throw them under the battlement if the battlement ends up dying then you do get those cards back which is very helpful and you don't really lose out too much on your attacking power because you have a nice vigilant attacker that is pretty decent considering the fact that these all have relatively low stats the fact that it has vigilance also means that it doesn't get sealed away very easily luckily since we aren't going uh, into combat with these we don't lose to th something like settler wreckage um this is our mana based i'm not going to talk too much about it uh, except these are the best lands for this deck in my opinion and memorial to folly is really helpful in just getting that like extra mirror image or something you could maybe squeeze a second or third one in here if the mana base is better this is this is just like my best guess shut up people outside <laughs> We are actually going to be taking this into best of three because of the fact that I found that best of one was just like really frustrating uh, with this deck because you do have to kind of have innately a kind of bad game against control um, and up against control it was just so difficult for me to play uh, that I wanted to try and see if the deck does actually better in best of three and I found that it does pretty decent. Um, so we run four negates because they're like the best card against control for our three desk legion zealots we bring these in essentially uh instead of inspiring cleric against the control decks because we want to just make sure that we can keep drawing cards our life total usually doesn't matter too much and it's another like annoying card that's just going to keep slowly whittling away at their life total making it very frustrating for them uh while we just keep accruing cards in our hand three uh kite sailor freebooter very similar to burglar rat and desk legion zealot uh you essentially bring this in against something like Moment of Craving, and once again, you take something from them and you keep trying to whittle them down. Uh, one additional Moment Craving and one additional Inspiring Cleric in the aggressive matchups. It's I'm not entirely sure what to take out, but usually what I do is I end up taking out a couple of the Anticipates, just because of the fact that I try not to tr focus on the combo when I'm up against aggro. I try and just stay alive, and if I'm able to stabilize against aggro, then usually I've won the game at that point. We are running one Chemist's Insight, again, to bring it against Control, essentially just to make sure that you keep up on card advantage. This is kind of a flex spot, same with Basilica Bellhaunt, just because I'm not entirely sure. The meta isn't super uh, solidified just yet. So, you know, these these are definitely flex spots, but I figured, eh, card draw is never too bad. And then, of course, Basilica Bellhaunt, because I just like the art, and I want to play it, and it's helpful against Control in place of something like Lumbering Battlement, where, or sorry, against Aggro, where you, you need the life gain a little bit more than just having a random 5 drop. The mana is... Kind of uh, intrusive, but I've not really had a problem with it uh, too much. So let us hop into traditional play. Yeah, that deck tech time was not terrible. All right, get a match against Johnny Paradise with a Teferi Avatar. Hopefully he's not actually playing Wilderness Reclamation. I will play first. Thank you. Uh, it's a terrible hand. We are running 25 lands for what it's worth. Oh, uh, yeah, we can't keep a, a hand like that. This hand is a little bit better. If our opponent's on an aggressive strategy, then we do have a moment of craving. Otherwise, well, have lost thoughts. Wall, I always call this well. It's fine. The scry is helpful. The mirror image is fine. Yeah, this this is an okay hand. We do kind of need some white mana, but... Uh, we'll, we'll keep a third, since we have the... Like, we don't have any white requirements right now. Okay, they put on the bottom. So let's see what exactly our opponent's up to. white black okay so this is either vampires it could be the um what is the word i'm looking for uh i think i'll wall here it could be the aristocrats deck okay so it is it is the aristocrats deck they typically don't use the graveyard too much so that's why i was kind of fine with uh playing wall there uh, moment of craving very helpful at killing um judith's Judith's Midnight Reapers, the Priest, I'll block. They can gain life, I don't really care too much. Uh, Hashish Taker, very helpful. Cool. So I will be able to Hashish Taker. Uh, Moment of Craving is going to hit Judith if they play it. Cool. So yeah, Hashish Taker is very helpful here. Uh, I can steal pretty much anything important from them. And luckily they don't have too much removal. Um, so I could Moment of Craving their Midnight Reaper, but I think I would just rather... I actually think I would just rather eat it with hostage taker so i think what i'm gonna do here is moment of craving this in response just so they can't flip their legions landing um one of the one of the biggest threats out of this deck out of the mardu uh mardu deck is uh, sure i'll block there is heroic reinforcements so if we can try and keep them off of her heroic reinforcements that would be helpful go ahead and take this reaper 
And they could use removal on my Hasha Taker. And I, that, honestly, that's fine. But if they don't, we're going to play their own uh, Minna Reaper. And uh, have, a, have a lot of fun doing it. All right, sure. You can have your own Minna Reaper. Um, I'm inclined. So once again, I'm not going to let them draw anything. I'm just going to block and take one. Honestly, I'm inclined to just mirror image this hostage taker to steal their other Midnight Reaver, right? Like, they've shown that that card in their hand is probably not going to be a removal. Uh, I don't think the... Wow, yeah, all right. I don't think the Mardu deck runs Kaya's Wrath. So, I was kind of fine with that. Um, against this deck, I kind of treat them like they are a, an aggro deck. Uh, so, what I tend to do is just bring in Inspiring Cleric, Moment of Craving, um... I'm not sure if I want to bring in Basil Basilica Bell Haunt in this specific matchup. Um, no, I think I think they're non-aggressive enough. You know what? The, the hands where they have where they have that I think is too strong. So I think we're gonna go ahead and bring bring the Bell Haunt in. See how it goes. We did get a nice buffer there. Uh, the fact that we are we we won the first round. This is a good hand. We can Godless Shrine into Island, play out a Rat, or hold a Moment of Craving. We're going second, so let's see if they're off to a good start. Right. Second first, same as the first I see. Hmm. Cool. We can go ahead and Drown Catacomb instead. I'm, pro I'm inclined to just hold up Moment of Craving uh, to deal with something like Judith or Pontiff even. So yeah, I think I'm just going to hold the moment of craving. If I could just make it to Hashish Taker, you know, we've seen that our opponent, in the main deck at least, doesn't have great response to it. Drawing our lands pretty well. Ministrant. Ministrant's fine. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and just kill this now. Alright, so the real risky part here is they could relatively easily... Well, I guess I need white blue. Um, they could relatively easily just play out heroic reinforcements. That would be in a pretty rough spot. But, so I could Burglar Rat. Burglar Rat honestly might be the best play here. Like, Wall of Lost Thoughts is definitely decent, but Burglar Rat, like, gets rid of some of their cards, and since they're already relatively low, I think this is fine. Alright, so they did get rid of a land. So do they have land heroic reinforcements? Okay. So it might be... Nope, not Judith. Alright, fantastic. Um, so the question is, essentially, do I steal the Ministrant with Hostage Taker? Or do I try and wait? We're starting to run too many... run into too many lands, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. Um... I think the answer is yes. They're definitely, like, better contenders in the deck. But Ministrant is decent enough. And since we are kind of flooding out, um, I'm totally fine with this with this hand. They can activate Legion's Landing now, and I, I assume they will, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to block like this. Yeah, that makes no sense to me. That way they can't really do too much damage with the Footlight Fiends. Theoretically, they could sack this Footlight Fiend if they have something in their hand to do so. Wow, yeah. Fantastic. Unfortunately, didn't combo there. I do hope at some point during this video we are able to get the actual combo off. But we were fortunate in that we don't need to. And really, it just shows the power of Hostage Taker in this, uh, in this format. <laughs> Hobo Sock, all right. I feel like Kobo Sock should be someone else, not Chandra. That uh, is a bad hand. They mulligan? No mulligan. This is a better hand, especially against a non-burn aggressive deck. We will go and keep this. They did mold to five. All right. Turbo Concede is just everywhere nowadays. I wonder if they're going to actually concede. Well, we don't have any information on our opponent, so... So we can't actually know what they're playing. But we do have a nice, a nice buffer here. Not a knife buffer. A nice buffer. 
Once again, bad hand. Keep this one, though. Uh, let's see. Glacial Fortress. We don't really need it. Yeah, we're running 25 lands. I think the scry to the bottom there is fine. Opponent on blue something. All right, fantastic. Very glad I scryed to the bottom. I mean, look, like, we can play Basilica Bell Hunt with this hand. Blue, red. Interesting. We're going to go ahead and play the Burglar Rat. Start potentially annoying my opponent. I could be playing Drake's. niv Mizzet is, like, the reason we're running Ixalan's Binding. What are you buying? No, nothing? Are you buying nothing? So I'm kind of apprehensive about playing Wall of Lost Thoughts. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's exactly why. Um, so we are just gonna, I guess we could just Inspiring Cleric. The, the land draws, not helpful here. Um... Yeah, I think I'll just inspire and cleric. The opponent, of course, could have something like um, the fiery cannonade. That does do a good job of wiping away my board. I'll just kill cleric, and will they attack me for one? I don't. They shouldn't. No. Uh, lands. Why do you do this to me? Yeah, against against this deck, you, d you don't play wall. Mortify would be nice. Anticipate would be nice. Slumbering is fine. Uh, probably gets countered. I don't I don't know if the Niv Mizzet versions play counters. They might have ionize. Honestly, I just think I go for it because it does give me something to attack with. Fantastic. And if it dies. They have to discard another card. So that's helpful. And this this is why I'm really usually fine playing out the battlements. Um, I could play this tapped. One, two, three. They can syncopate me for three. So yeah, even if they have syncopate, I can still cast this. But we're going to go and attack here. Yeah. Cool. Put nice pressure on our opponent. Who I guess he just has a not great draw. Discovery, sure. That'll, that'll grow their Enigma Drake a little bit, but we're in a decent race position here. And we can cast essentially anything in the deck, right? Like, Hosh's Taker off the top is crazy. Um, Mir I mean, like, so many of our cards are decent. Yeah. I would like to combo at some point, guys. <laughs> it's a really cool thing when it happens. Oh, right. Claim. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we're trying to open the pack from here. Ah. Having some of that nice strawberry lemonade. Gonna go over to Reddit. There we go. Her Her Herculate? Wish you would let me combo off, my friends. It's a nice prize. A deck of... I don't know what I'm trying to sing off the cuff. I can't do it. Uh, yeah, this is fine, I suppose. Um, yeah, I think it's okay to keep Battlement here. We'll play Watergrave tapped into probably a Hollow Fountain tap. Let's see what our opponent's on. Oh my gosh, I just saw this post on the uh, Arena subreddit. It's a Johnny adversary of depression. And a Johnny's voice lines, No friend of mine fights alone. I understand you're in need of support. You should be proud of how far, far you've come. Let's see how far you've come. Let's see how far you've come. I believe the world is coming to an end. I, I, don't, I don't know this one either. It's so good. It's good to see you, my friend. See in yourself what I see in you. Fantastic. Utterly fantastic.
playing up against Mono Blue. I assume this matchup's probably pretty hard. They have so much protection. So I do need to grab some sort of removal. And even then, you know, it's that second one there's kind of hard. Um, I don't think that deck plays a bunch of, like, graveyard stuff. So I think I'm fine just playing out the wall here. Um... I mean, one more thing, then we can combo them. So, that is nice. We might be able to combo this matchup. But uh, this deck does run counter spells. I assume they're going to opt here. Yep. So predictable. Gonna go and target you. Hey, right, well, for what is. Oh, Terramander! Okay, I didn't realize the, the blue deck started to play this. Yeah, I mean, I technically helped them out, but this was going to be their draw, so I'm glad that I did it. Of course, it's, like, entirely random. You can't really say that that's going to happen, but... Do you have another land? No, just try to course? All right. I assume we're going to get a land out of that. Yep, yep. That is a dangerous move. I mean, it paid off for them, but holy crap, they should not have done that. Um, so here I could Burglar Rat or Mirror Image on the wall. I think I'm just gonna Burglar Rat, force them to discard a bit, and hope that, uh, hope that they, like, tap out next turn. Or, like, mostly tap out so I can play Lumbering. Ooh, I took out a Tempest Gin? They had to have another one then, right? Yeah, the Sky game is difficult. Tempest Gin, yep, yep. All right. So, Lumbering comes down. Yes. Lumbering comes down. I knock these off. I mean, they're... They're all in the sky, so I can't really do anything. Um, for what it's worth, this also does technically give me, uh... Some pressure back on them. Obsession? Sure. This is going to be painful. If I draw a land, I can Inspiring Cleric. And Mirror Image. But uh, definitely looking looking difficult, just because, you know, we didn't have the removal when we needed it. Burglar rats. So I think we have to... Let's see, we gain. We go up to 10. Uh, so let's go ahead and attack first. Okay. I'm glad that you did that. Because now, they can't ca counter this. Gain some life. Let's force them to discard a card. Uh, we can block... But yeah, unfortunately, we're just a little too slow in this matchup. But luckily, it's best of three. Ow. I'm down to two. Um, yeah, unfortunately, land into... Mirror image wouldn't help. Um, Hodge taker doesn't help. Uh, if I get... Four more life, I'm up to six, and I still die. Maybe in the sideboard I should actually just have a board wipe of some kind. Moment of Craving might help if I use it on one of my own creatures. Uh, I have Vigilance, so we're going to attack with the Battlement. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think there's a way around this. I can mirror image this, and it brings these two back. I can exile those as well, but this is a f it'd become like quite large, so I wouldn't be able to actually kill it with Moment of Craving. I can just mirror image my Inspiring Cleric. All right, just mirror image my Inspiring Cleric. Um, but unfortunately, I I think it's correct to just concede and not entirely show them what I'm doing. I, d I definitely think this is one of the harder matchups. Um, I definitely bring in Moment of Craving. Do I bring a Negate? I'm going first, so being able to negate a Curious Obsession is probably helpful. Binding might be too slow, Mortify might be too slow. 
just really not sure. Maybe Kaito Freebooter as like a proactive negate style thing. Let's try that. And I think I just take out the, the slow anticipate. And I could take out one of the walls since comboing is slightly less important. Um, but it does block on the ground. I'm going to take out one of the battlements. I don't know if this is correct, but I'll try it. I definitely think this is probably one of the harder matchups of all of the matchups we could have. Play first. Ooh, that's a that's a rough hand. Also a rough hand, but we have so something to do for two turns, so uh, I'm inclined to keep it. I don't love it. In fact, you could say I hate it. I would love like a. I think I had to get rid of that because I I really need to have like something a little bit more proactive. Um, we will go ahead and play the Drowned Catacomb first, since we don't have a one drop, and we can play this island to play out either of these next turn anyway. So, there isn't too much of a reason to play out the island first. Alright. Go ahead and play the Burglarette. Just try to annoy their plays as much as I can. Hope I draw either a land of any type, except I guess Memorial of Folly, I don't want that. They keep a one-lander? They kept a one-lander. That is really good for me. So, I mean, I pretty much just hold up Moment of Craving. Right? So, my thinking... Is that I hold a moment of craving for if they try and Curious Obsession, but they could play a land into Curious Obsession, but I think it's still worth it. Yeah, I think it's I think it's still worth it to try a moment of craving that. Okay. So I need them to like not have a land. And but actually play out an obsession. And they might not. And if they don't, um, I'll probably moment of craving out of turn regardless. Most likely on the Storm Tamer, because uh, it's a wizard, you know, it does the most. It's a wizard, it flies, it has an ability. Um, this this does have, like, true evasion, but the fact that this has an additional ability um, and is a wizard, I think, makes that the better target. Not entirely sure, of course, but... I'm not going to fire the gun off too soon. Alright, I will try and fire it off now. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. My opponent could, like, dive down or something. Could dive down, spell pierce. All those things are quite true. Top decking a untapped land, even if it's not white. Gets me mirror image. Yep, dive down, sure. Does deny me the life, which is important. Uh, that is unfortunate. Um, we are just going to wall here. We could have theoretically held up stuff. Oh, man. That was... <laughs> Once again, real real clutch on the hits. Got rid of a, a Curious Obsession and a land. I mean, all of these are, are strong against us. So let's see if they have something here. Yeah, possibly putting that land to the bottom was a... A mistake... But then I wouldn't have drawn Moment of Craving as quickly, but, I mean, my opponent is also kind of in not the best spot, so, I don't know. Freebooter is nice to see, gives me something to do. My opponent could sack the Storm Tamer here. Let's see if they do. I'm kind of fine if they do, honestly, because it slows their clock down, but still allows me to have a decent clock. In a, in a game of Mana Screw. I'm slightly less manuscript. <laughs> Alright. Um, essence capture. They'd have to hold that up. Like, I don't care about those at all. Honestly, I think the correct answer is just chart, of course. Chart A course. Yeah. Because I, I can play around essence capture to an extent. But 
Charter Course, if they draw a single land, means that they can snowball it into other lands. So I think that's correct. Gives me a nice blocker against their Storm Tamer. Allows me to keep attacking with my Burglar Rat. If they... If I get a land, I can play a Mirror Image on my Freebooter and steal more of their stuff. Good old modularity of... Uh, of best of three games. Very difficult for me to uh, plan out the video length. Just because I don't know exactly how long my opponent's going to take. Don't know how long... Uh, yeah, I was about to say. Don't know how long... Uh, oh, nice. Uh, let's go and see what you have. Once again, they can sack the Storm Tamer to make this not happen. Be hilarious if they drew another chart, of course. What are you buying, friend? And I don't know if I can do it. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spot. Light losing my patience. <laughs> Uh, nope, drew a trickster, so I'll go ahead and take this Ashen's Capture. Thank you very much. Go ahead and thank you very much. Go on to game three. Alright, um, my opponent kept a terrible hand. Uh, I feel like just second first, same as the first. Like, I could bring the gates in. But I don't think I do. I think I just... I think I just try and curve decently. That is a lovely Plains art. Sam Burley, what other art have you done? Fantastic art by... By one Sam Burley. On the Magic subreddit. Oh, did I... I spelled the same wrong, didn't I? It's L-E-Y. Yeah, there it is. Oh, he did Aether Hub. Oh, snap. This guy has a lot of good art. Aether Squall Ancient, fantastic art. Field of Dreams. Oh, we did Glorybringer? Alright, I can no longer like him. Hate that card. <laughs> oh, he did the... Gate Crash Sacred Foundry? He did Sandstep Citadel! Oh, I love that art. Supreme Verdict? Man, this guy has a lot of good cards under his belt. Temple of Malice. Xenicar's Royal. Ugin's Nexus. Tomb of the Spirit Dragon. Opponent! Why do you troll me so? Oh, you even did the, the Taiga from uh, Vintage Masters. Yeah, cool stuff. Dude has good art. Art and magic is fantastic. Some some people like don't like the, the new direction. Uh, honestly, in general, uh, I think magic art is great. Um, I, I don't really have a problem with any digital art. I'm talking because my opponent is just, I don't know, wasting my time. <laughs> um... A lot of people say it's, like, too samey. I do like that there is some level of uh, unity uh, within worlds. Uh, but, I mean, you can look at this set, and you, you have things like Growth Spiral. You know, Growth Spiral is, is, I think, the standout. But there's still plenty of art, I think, that is evocative of more classic uh, magic. You know, even something like random, like Concordia Pegasus, the 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 uh, new art on it, fantastic. Resolute Watchdog, I think, doesn't have the same kind of... Uh, feel that some of the other magic art does but it's still it still does it doesn't look out of place right um i think i think wanting the super outlandish cards is a bit strange i think honestly gross spiral is about you know decently as far as you should go uh we have two moment of cravings which is nice like and the inspiring cleric but just not having the mana <sighs> would be really bad uh this is all right this is another one of those do you keep it puzzles let me know in the comment section down below if you would keep this hand. Oh, gosh. Um, We're going second, which is helpful. Our opponent kept. Oh, man. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. We have essentially two turns to draw an untapped land, be it a shock land or, or otherwise. And if we don't, we still have the ability to Moment of Craving 
on turn three and turn four if we don't get another land by then. Ixalan's Binding is also helpful at dealing with something like Tempest Jin. Uh, it's not a great position to be in, but I think it's the best I, I have uh, to, to work with. I think I think that decision was correct, but not sure. Opponent might have actually just like left and is still warping me. Um, so I guess I'll just continue talking about art. Uh, I'm literally just scrolling through. You know, we still have old school artists like uh, Kev Walker, you know, the Carrion Imp. Still decent. Terramander, all right, sure, sure. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Let's hope that we draw an untapped land. Oh god, Debtor's Transport is horrifying. Fantastic. Moment of Craving is very helpful. Miss Caro? Sure. So I'm going to end of turn. Eat the Herald, I think. Burglarite is nice. The thing is, I assume that my opponent is holding up Essence Capture. And frankly, I would rather just continually hold up Moment of Craving. It might not be the best idea, but it's the idea I'm going with. Once again, I'm just going to eat the one damage. We're not too far down. Alright. So I really would love a top deck untapped land. I will shock myself to do it. Thank you very much. No, you monster! I trusted you! I trusted you and you betrayed me. Uh. Alright. Hopefully, ow, this turn, they don't have a counterspell. I am so sad. Please don't have a counterspell for this. No! Oh. Alright, I have another one. They might have a Merfolk Trickster. No, they, they didn't. No, they didn't. Because they, they went immediately to my combat. Alright. Opt? Sure. Uh, they scry to the top. Uh. Okay, Curious Obsession. That's okay. It hurts, but it's okay. Oh, Drown Catacomb, you betrayed me. Oh, no. Okay. This is fine. Okay, that goes away. They have one card. We can Inspiring Cleric. Hope we draw another. Top decking Mortify or something is fine. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to play a Burglar at first. Yep, that's exactly why, because we really need the life gain. Don't you dare have another Counterspell. You suck and I hate you. Oh... Uh... The Drowned Catacomb! Oh. <sighs> I didn't actually get to combo off. I'm very sad. I hope you guys, like, understand how the deck works. But, like, I wasn't actually able to show it. Uh, maybe I'll try and, like, play the deck again if enough people want it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you're just like, smash smash that like button if you want to see, if you want to see this deck again. I don't know. Uh, yeah, the thing is, like, the deck still, like, worked, right? I won two out of three of the games. And, oh man, that last one. Oh, so bad. Anyway, I would love to thank my lovely patrons, especially Salamander Draga, for their continued support. You'll find links, if you would like to join them and support the channel, you'll find links to that in the description down below, along with links to my Discord server, where you can chat and play games with each other, uh, and my Instagram account, where I host my deck lists. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go and tap that like button, add a subscription to your mana pool, and cast a comment in the comment section down below. And until next time, I will be one.